गल्फ ऑफ कच इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड एज इन गल्फ ऑफ कच वी मैन गल्फ ऑफ कच ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन ड्यू टू सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ द गल्फ ऑफ कच ड्यू टू इज प्रॉक्सिमिटी टू द पाकिस्तान कोस्ट विच इज नियर बाई टू अस गल्फ ऑफ कच इज क्रिटिकल सेंस अराउंड सेवेंटी टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ इंडियाज ऑयल एक्सपोर्ट इज बींग कैरीड आउट फ्रॉम द गल्फ ऑफ कच वी हैव थर्टीन इन नंबर एस पी एम फोर ईयर एंड वी गार्ड इट ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन इफ देर इज एनी सस्पिशियस कॉन्टैक्ट नियर द एस पी एम्स इन द गल्फ ऑफ कच वी गो एंड अप्रोच द बोर्ड बोर्ड द बोर्ड विद द स्टैंडिंग बोर्डिंग स्टैंडर्ड बोर्डिंग प्रोसीजर विच वी फॉलो एंड वी एप्रीहेंड वॉट एवर इज सस्पिशियस एंड द गल्फ ऑफ कच इज मैन ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन द शिप्स as you know india imports about uh, 80% of its crude oil and 70% of the crude oil comes and lands here this is wadina this is the gulf of kutch where you have got more than 15 spms there are more spms coming there are very big industries uh, refineries of lands sr indian oil so you can imagine that how many tons of crude oil is being imported at this place to counter all this thing the dg coast guard is the chairman of the national oil spill disaster contingency plan so today in the morning we had the national oil spill disaster contingency plan annual feature wherein about 80 reps from about 30 to 35 organizations including ministry of uh, port uh, shipping water and shipping then oil industry safety directorate uh, state governments central governments maritime boards coast guard navy everybody had attended this meeting in this meeting the challenges are discussed which which are related to the preparedness of all the oil handling agencies all the ports and all other stakeholders who are involved in importing the oil out at sea so in this we discussed the contingency plans of all the ports we validated them and what are the difficulties being faced by them so this is a forum where many big issues are discussed so that we are well prepared to counter and mitigate all the challenges now to counter all the challenges i want to tell you that the coast guard has got three pollution response vessels presently and we are constructing two more big 115 meters long at goa shipyard limited so those vessels pollution response vessels are likely to be delivered by 2025 and in in addition we are also going for uh, procurement of pollution response equipment for the basis which includes skimmers then your booms and many other equipment which are always used for you know combating oil spill out at sea so this is the position where we are this is the wadnar harbor we are zooming into the wadnar harbor this is our present position at the dpa jetty this is the coast guard new coast guard jetty which is being formed motor deck is board on motor deck board on that the indian coast guard is having nearly 55 to 60 ships patrolling pan india and we are having about 10 to 12 aircraft and helicopters which fly every day so our response to any incidents is not more than one or two hours because you have ships which are placed at 100 miles and on top of that we maintain good synergy with the marine police also all the stakeholders who are involved in the coastal security concert a very good synergy is being maintained with them we have got good synergy with the int agencies with the state agencies and as you know we caught one boat uh, day before yesterday and uh, this is not the first time we caught a boat there are a lot of drugs etc which we have caught uh, close to our borders and our ships are actually actively involved in ensuring that our waters are free from any terrorist activity